Welcome back, everybody. Hustlin' Hauls. We have 26 items um, from my recent hauls. We're going to get right into it. We got a few cassette tapes. This in through the outdoor Led Zeppelin. Crazy stats on Discogs. Four people have it. 85 people want it, which is crazy stats. So it's probably about a $20 item for sure. We got a uh, Michael Jackson, Dangerous. We're looking at five bucks. We got Beatles, Lonely Hearts Club Band. There is a misprint available. It's not this one, but if you have the uh, track listing that's incorrect, it's worth a pretty penny on the cassette. So 10 bucks there. Another Beatles deal, George Harrison. Greatest hits, best of, whatever, five bucks. Now this one, this uh, Burt... Bert Jansch, Jack O'Ryan. It's an Italian reissue, so don't know how it wound up in the Midwest, but we're looking at 20 bucks easy on that. This is a bonus, not even counted as part of the total price or even part of the 26, so that's technically a 27th item, but we share the bread of life, we share the Eucharist. I mean, tell me you guys wouldn't buy that for two bucks, so... I'm accepting any offers. Hit me up if you guys want this rare one-of-a-kind deal. Very cool album. This uh, Paradia, this Rolling Boquette. Probably butchered that. It's a $25 item. And this, Kids, pardon the pun, is why you look up everything. This Kids from Wisconsin. On Discogs, there's only one sale. 12 bucks. But there's three from $50. So I'm calling this an easy $50 stash. This Martha Velez, this Hypnotized. This is actually a white label promo. So that's an easy 10 bucks. And uh, the first uh, Theolonious Monk album I found at the thrift store. This is all Goodwill stuff right here. Um, this is a reissue. But... Uh, this right here, you're talking an easy 10, 15 bucks. We'll call it 15. And again, while you look everything up, this Gloria Bell, um, both of these albums would be worth an easy 10, 15 bucks a piece, but both of them are signed, which is awesome. I mean, you know, you look up this stuff, normally people would just pass it up all day long but that's why you look up anything what i consider like strange oddball whatever this david allen co once upon a rhyme another one that i didn't really know too much about but it's a 15 dollar album again with the oddball stuff um some of these private press this uh u of i men's uh varsity glee club Interesting stats on that one. On Discogs, one person has it, zero are selling it. There's one from 50 bucks. And uh, this one has the original shrink. It's like perfect. It's near mint. Calling that 50. Again, another album in shrink. This is Archie Dennis Jr. Calling that 10 bucks. This one is the Jungle Brothers. This is um, a single, if you call it. 10 bucks all day. 10 years after, a space and time, kind of like a prog rock deal. It's at the very least 10 bucks. Calvary Cross. Again, you know, religious stuff, it takes longer to sell, but this is easy $10 all day long if you're patient. Um, this Lenny White album, Big City, really cool, has a bunch of breaks on it. Um, easy $5, probably way more. Now we're looking at this Ella Jenkins. It's, uh, interesting because it's got a signature on it. It's borderline private press, um, but we're going to call that 20. The new Lee Dorsey working in the coal mine. This one is a great album. I listened to it. It's phenomenal. It's 30 bucks. This is kind of a cool one. Not uh, 
not too much value, ten ten dollar value, but computer music, um, just a cool album. I'll have to listen to that soon. <clears throat> Probably donated by the same person. The unusual classical synthesizer. That's you know a five dollar album, but it's probably cool to listen to for sure. Again with the oddballs, Songs of the Humpback Whale. Discogs eighty one people have it, eighty seven want it. Median price is ten bucks. It's in pretty good shape. We're gonna call that fifteen. All right, I have a couple of these. The George Winston December's. He has December and a bunch of other months. I can't exactly remember which they are offhand, but. Easy five dollars, easy five to ten. In this condition, it's probably ten. We're gonna call it five. Some of my favorite albums, these command records. The stereo on these is just phenomenal. This offbeat percussion. It's a ten dollar album, but man, I, I pick up all of these. And last but not least, the Norman Grants Jazz at the Philharmonic. Uh easy ten dollars all day. There's a couple uh, couple records in this set. This, I actually can't find on Discogs. I might have to submit this. It's um, a different disc than everyone else has. But again, we're looking at 26, technically 27 items. I'm not putting a value on the Eucharist album. So, you know, we're in the 50s plus tax dollars, and we got 430 bucks, you know, in uh, in value. So not so bad. Till next time.